Have you ever wondered how a digital watch can work? So today you will have a way to do a digital watch and it will be quite simple. So we will have a display, a real-time clock and a microcontroller which is the STM32F1 and we already programmed this one so we will see how to quickly make it and you will see how it's simple to use later on. So this one has already a time on it because it has a backup battery. So if I add it here to the connection that we will explain later on and power on my microcontroller just to reset you can see we will have the time so actually sorry this is not really blurry but you, this is a, the um, now it's 8 p.m. 11 minutes and around 40 seconds which is exactly the same time that is in my cell phone let me show you here so it's 8 p.m. 11 second and around 50 seconds, uh, sorry, 11 minutes and around 50 seconds. So if you'd like to know how this is working, just stay tuned and follow this episode. So if you are curious to know how the code is working with the example we are sharing, just to let you know that this is inspired from the STM32 F1 tutorials, where we created all this code from scratch. As usual, the code that we are going to share today is available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. The language we are going to use is only C and the software for programming will be KL. Uh, the hardware that we are going to use is the AKA Bluebill or the STM32F1 based board. Um, we are going to use for real time clock the DS3231 and the board is called MH board. And finally for the display we are going to use the OLED screen for the um, reference number SSD1306. Okay, so let's uh, have a quick look on the wiring of the example. So we will have the STM32F1 connected to the OLED screen. The connection is, will be based on um, four wires, the STAS clock and 3.3 volt and the ground, where the ground and the voltage are really straightforward. We are going to use I2C2 um, peripheral of the STM32F1. So it will be port B pin 11 for the SDA and port B pin 10 for the S clock and after that we are connecting the same like using the same wire the uh, to the image board to connect with the side of the image side okay so that's all for the um connections oh this is the, all the library that we are going to add you can find all the libraries in the um, in the github link and also you can uh, find the link in the description below if you would like to know further about this library and make them from scratch so saying so we can jump now to the code as usual, if you like this content and like to support it and see more of it, you have just to subscribe. Okay, so let's take a look first at the circuit. It's quite very simple. So I'm adding here, here my cell phone with a timer and also we do have the STM32F1 connected directly using the same I2C to the um, MH board uh, with the DS3231 plus the OLED screen. So that's quite very simple. The connections are straightforward, not really something um, difficult. So let's have a quick look to the code to understand what's going on. So I added here the, the, the date and time that we are going to update. So it will depend actually on the time that we are seeing here. So we're not uh, going to make um, like a mistake and we will have the same time so we can understand what's happening. So first of all, we are going to use these two functions to make the OLED init or to initialize the communication with the uh, OLED screen. And then we put the OLED blank, which is, let me make this one bigger, which is better. So the OLED blank means to make the whole screen here blank. So we, um, the, all the, uh, any like kind of uh, bad data or old data is removed. So that's quite straightforward and simple. So we can run it and there's no really a big issue on this one. So after that, we are going to update the, the time of the chip. So this is the function to update. So it's just DS3231 um, update date and time. And this first one is for the I2C, where as you can see for the rest, it's year, month, day, hours, minutes, and seconds straightforward very easy very simple so ah and before that if you are not going to use this one so if you are going to connect using something else you can 
um, you have to start with the I2C in it. You need to initialize your I2C before starting this one. But if you are going to use the OLED 64 in it, so you can skip this one. So this is what we are going to do now. And let's take the time, which time we are going to uh, update. So let's change this one a bit. Let's put it 59. So for the 19, this one minutes 59. I think we are going to wait a little bit too much and this one zero zero it's a bit too much let's put 48 and here let's put 40 45 okay let's save load and now we can load okay so should nothing happen here i think i put a little bit of delay but anyway so we will have a small gap in second we will can we can correct it again and we should see nothing there which is totally normal because we are not displaying nothing here what we have done we just um added or set up the time that should be in the um ds32 f1 so this um, part has been updated now we can jump and go to the next part okay let me take you here so what we are going to do so if we go to the loop so you can see it's straightforward very simple just one function to update so the first one this is the first part let me take this one here this one is getting a timetable this timetable is an array and inside this timetable there is all the information including time and date so that's what we are going to do after that there's few this function this one here so this function is not really related to the devices that we are going to use because let me put like this and this one like this so this one is just changing the format so it just take the um, timetable information and the, the data extracted and then convert the format to a format like that will display hours minutes and second so we can jump here so let's close this one uh, for example here and after that what we can do we have also to put this one in this way and to make things clean and beautiful so we are going to take a look only to the time for the time being so let's uh, make this string empty because each time as we are going to concatenate inside the string we need to clean this string at the end of each cycle and we are putting a delay of one second so we can have uh, looking that the h second is moving okay so let's save build it should be fine so we are going to get the data from the um the uh, ds3231 at changing the format to something that is um, um uh, readable or quite simple to understand then printing it to uh, using this function using uh, on the oled screen okay so let's load and let's take a look okay that's not really very hard to say short here let me cover this one and so you can see here there's a small gap in the time try to zoom and we can check the gap in the time between both okay let me put one here yeah i'm sorry i know where is the mistake but uh yeah so but no, the time is not showing both. I'm sorry, that's a little bit hard to say to have this proof. But um, I will explain to you where is the mistake. Okay, you see here, there, there is a gap. It's still 19 hours. And I know why. So if we go back here, it's because I forgot to comment this one. So we need to do it only once. So let's get the time again another time. Okay, so let's take... It will be um, 8 p.m. So 20 here, and it will be the minute number two, and that will be let's say 30. Well, let's put 40 and hope for the best. Save, build, and we wait a bit. Okay, I think it should be good now. Let's take a look. So well, exactly so you can see we almost we are almost at the, uh, one second um a gap but we do have the time here so the same code is can be applied to the date so let me 
put here. The date I think it's already uh, correct. So it's the 3rd of October 2020. So we just go here and we can uncomment this one as now we just use this one. Let's remove this and remove this and put these two one together. Okay, and putting this delay. So I'm adding here, so for this function, this is the one that say I'm using I2C2. Uh, I would like to display in the row number two and in from the column number 35. It's exactly same here, but I'm using the row number four. So let's save, run, build sorry, and load. So you can see here that we do have the date that is displayed here, same exactly as this one, okay? So now let's challenge this a little bit. So I'm powering off my um, STM32F1 and I'll be waiting a little bit. So you will see that when I will power on, let's wait for maybe six or seven seconds, like until 10. And if I power back again, just a moment and I reset. Okay. Same mistake again. I forgot to comment this one. So that, that's something that I should really work on. Um, let's change a bit again. So we are at, let's say, four minutes. And this one, we are not going to miss it. Build. Okay, we should be good. Immediately comment and then save and load again. So now in the new code, that should be even I um, remove the power like this. So I should find after that, it should be, uh, yeah, let's say it should be more than eight and five minutes. Okay, reset. So you can see now we are at 10 minutes. Like, let me zoom it a bit, zoom on it a bit. So I hope it will be getting better yeah so you see it's almost at one second gap and it's exactly the same time okay hope you enjoyed this one so you could create a small watch using your stm32 f1 and the oled screen i hope you enjoyed this one and see you for the next episode Whew.